Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Dylan and Macy Thompson. The microphone picking me up? Yes. Can I talk to Macy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Macy. This is Dave. You know Dave, right? It's been Dave for a long time now, but you're still, I'm still your daddy, and I've always loved you since day one. I'm so proud of you for everything you've done. So happy for you today. I know you found the right man in Dylan, and he's going to treat you so right. You know, this happy life together, and um, I love you so much. To all who have come on behalf of both families, the McClendahans and the Thompsons, and Dylan and Macy, welcome. This is a great day, a joyous day, a day in which Dylan Thompson will marry Macy McClendahan and will forever walk as one. Macy, it's crazy to think that a simple FaceTime on New Year's Eve would lead all the way to us being married. It seemed like this day has taken an eternity to get here, but all good things are worth the wait. Whenever I'm with you, my heart is just so full of joy <laughs> and love from the little things like our dances in the kitchen while we cook or going to smell and buy a bunch of candles that we have way too many of. <laughs> you bring so much joy into my days and brighten every day for me. As a teenager, I used to journal and pray for my future husband and always wondered who he would be. It's crazy to think that all those years in high school you were right in front of me and I didn't even know it. I never could have guessed that God had someone planned for me who was so much better than anything I could have imagined. Love you, baby. Yeah. That's sweet. I ain't crying. Okay. When? I ain't crying. Oh, I've been nervous. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I couldn't go back to sleep. Like, well, like, like yesterday, I wasn't nervous, but like today, I'm not like a bad. Like, just looking forward to it, and just it's a, uh, it's been like a long time. I guess it's, it's been a long time just waiting on this day to come. I vow to support you, whether if it's an ear you need to listen to your thoughts, a shoulder to lean on, or a dance partner in moments of celebration. I vow to always put us first and work together as a team through all the highs and lows that will come. I promise to not watch the newest episodes of Big Brother or Bachelor or Bachelorette without you, and to not look up any spoilers on Twitter <laughs> before you do. <laughs> I promise to respect you and support you in everything that you do. To push you to be the best you can be, just as you always do for me.
above all else, my vow to you is that I will love you unconditionally and every day until the end of my days. <laughs> Dylan and Macy come from some pretty awesome families. David, Debbie, Misty, Chris, you have all been wonderful models to Dylan and Macy as to what it looks like to love your spouse. Be encouraged that they have caught that vision from you and will bring it into their marriage. You see, when God chose a picture for the type of love believers were to have towards one another in his newly established kingdom, after the sacrificial death and resurrection of his son, do you know what kind of picture he chose? He chose a portrait of marriage. So Dylan, in light of this teaching, I charge you to love and cherish Macy. Lay down your life for her each and every day, as Christ has done for his church. Believe in Macy when she doesn't believe in herself. Defend her when she stands alone for the truth. Macy, in light of this teaching, I charge you to respect and honor Dylan. Be quick to forgive, quick to ask for forgiveness, and even slower to anger. Believe in Dylan when he doesn't believe in himself. Defend him when he stands alone for truth. Tell him often that you love him and tell him the reasons why. Dylan and Macy, by the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in accordance with vows you have taken, and by virtue of the laws of the great state of Arkansas, I joyfully pronounce you husband and wife, and what God has joined together, let no man separate. Dylan, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Dylan and Macy Thompson. <laughs>